Welcome to Canada, eh? Hi, I'm Dennis Gage and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Gimli, Manitoba for cruising Gimli Beach. This is a cool little resort town about an hour out of the city of Winnipeg on the shores of Lake Winnipeg. The local car club basically takes over the town and packs it with about 800 outstanding cars. Fabulous day, really great setting. Let's get to work. This is a bad mama jamma here. What's not the like? I love it. I love it. Hey, John. How you doing, man? Hey, Dennis. How you doing? What? Thanks for coming out. What a show, dude. I mean, <laughs> this, this uh, you've been telling me for years is a really nice show, and you're right. Absolutely. But what a day. I mean, we're right on the, what, the western shore of Lake Winnipeg. Exactly. And it's gorgeous here. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's our little slice of heaven. It's yeah. uh, Gimli stands for Paradise of Gods. It does, really? It does. And that's in Norwegian, I believe. Yeah, right? Icelandic. Icelandic. Oh, Icelandic, <laughs> of course, because this is New Iceland. New Iceland. Amazing. But I mean, yeah, it's just a sea of people down the street. It's just amazing. And I, how many cars? I mean, you guys quit counting at about 800, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, we just uh, we lost track, so. We ran out of registration. And, I mean, and you know, you got the main streets and the side streets. And then they're like popping up in parking lots over here, you know, over there and at Where? that apartment complex. And... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wherever we could stick them. Yeah, right. I mean, you got to feel good. I feel great. I, I can't believe the number of people that we've got, the participants. Of course, you help with that. Check it out. Thank you. We do what we can, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, hey, you got a good thousand cars here. I would think so, yeah. Which least, is a little bigger than you usually have. Uh, uh, pretty well double. Okay, well, that yeah. works. So, okay. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been our biggest show, and we love it. Well, as always, at these shows, there's some wild, you know, crazy Canadian cars, some of which I've never seen. You're going to have to explain a couple to me. Let's go check them out. No problem. All Let's right. go. So, uh, Randy, uh, old school. That uh, basically wanted to keep the bus the way it was, the way I found it, and uh, <laughs> the name suited the bus. And, and this is how you found this baby, right? Yeah. Where? It, you don't mind if I touch it, do you? Oh, I mean, no, I wanna, no, you no. Know, you're not going to hurt it. <laughs> uh, it's just sitting in a field. Really? Um, like grass around it? Grass and... around it, forgotten, <laughs> like a time capsule. Man, it's a GMC, what year? It's a 1957 GMC Carpenter school bus. This is just how she was? This is it. Nature's paint shop. <laughs> <laughs> but you've really done some cool stuff. I mean, you've turned the inside basically into a diner. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's an old booth that's been refurbished to fit the bus. And the Coke machine, I mean, it's it's, it's, it's it, great. Yeah, it's a, a vintage Coke machine, all original, just like the bus. Well, you know, and also, I mean, the gauging and stuff, I mean, this looks like what it came with. That looks like a 57 cluster, but it actually says, says GMC. That's correct, yeah. It's something different that I've never seen before either. And all this came from, from a, a, a restaurant nearby? Yeah, a neighborhood restaurant in the Half Moon in uh, Lockport, where, where we're from. That is, it's so cool. And, uh, you know, back to uh, back to here, this was, uh, you know, pretty gnarly padlock that came with it. That, that's probably an add-on, That's right? an add-on, yeah. But you've yeah. also, you've, dro you've obviously dropped it down. Yeah, it's dropped the old school way where uh, leaf springs are flipped, reversed. And some fairly trick wheels. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 20-inch wheels. Well, 20-inch wheels, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm, I'm astounded. So you actually drive this thing. We drive it. Everywhere, 57 wherever technology. this bus is, it's driven. It's, wow. And you still have the original engine in it? The original engine. Uh, it runs and it, performs and she, perfect. Let's go look at it. Sure. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, I mean, that's what was in there from the factory. That's what was in there from the factory. Man. So you cranked it and she fired up, yeah, basically. Yeah, uh, a little bit of tinkering, uh, bottle fed it, uh, cleaned the points. Made sure there was oil in it, and within two hours, I had it running. That is amazing. Well, man, it's the only old school short bus here, I gotta tell you, uh, and I'm glad you brought it out. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Randy. 57 GMC, way cool. Well, Lawrence, this is a funky little car. This, <laughs> you know, I, 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 well, it's green, you know, so I'm a, I'm a sucker for green cars. But is that a stock Austin color? It's a stock moss green color, yeah. Man, you know, I, I like the front end because, you know, it's, it's really, it's this kind of little car, but it's got a pretty stately grill. It does have that. 
And, and it appears cast. Is it's, that cast? It's cast white metal, yeah. Now, are these, these aren't turn Park signals. lights. They're park lights, yeah. right? Because this thing uses the semaphores. I see you've got one yeah. out over here, I believe, yeah. Yeah, I could put one out there. So those are the, those are the turn signals. These aren't. No, I'm just running lights. <laughs> just like park lights. It's, it's, I mean, this is a cute car. And this interior, I mean, the, the whole car must have been restored, yes? Yeah. Oh, yes, it was restored from the ground up. Uh, it's a very, very simple dash. Yeah, the dash was centered like that because of the left and right hand steering that you could have. Oh, you sure, had the sure. option. That's why there's two glove boxes. Now, that's an interesting uh, steering wheel. It's kind of a, I don't know. It's, it's like uh, a Bakelite. I was going to say, it's yeah. like Bakelite. It's like Bakelite. And yeah. that's the. We, that's the original wheel. Really? Yeah. Now what's the what's the adjustment on top of right that's above the, the signal light switch? Oh, is that where your yeah. semaphores turn yeah. on? Yeah, that's where they go. <laughs> Trafficators. Tra that's right. Trafficators, indeed, they're trafficators. Trafficators. But you know, a lot of room in the back yeah. for a little car like this. In, in England, it was considered a mid-sized car. The trunk opened yeah, this way. Yeah, opened actually. this way like it's just like it had a rumble seat in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And, and this was, and it was imported to Canada. Is this the, you that's still got the dealer the, plate, yeah, right? That's the original selling dealer, Holford and Valentine, Austin in Calgary. Okay, yeah. so what powered this little baby? Uh, 1200 cc, uh, inline four, overhead valve. I got motorcycles that are but bigger than 40 that. 40 horsepower. 40 horsepower. <laughs> Let's go look at that. Yeah. It actually had a key lock in it, so you couldn't open the hood up. <laughs> you know, I've never seen that. I've never seen that. Open the up, lift the old A up, and a little hood prop. Yeah, the and engine, the engine where's, compartment where's is all the original. Engine? Oh, there it is, <laughs> there, 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 there it is, is down there. <laughs> 1,200 cc's of raw horsepower. <laughs> wow. That's just, uh, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> all you need, I guess. That's all you need then, yeah. I mean, this is just a really darling car, I got to tell you, man. And, and you, I mean, you've been associated with these cars since you were 16 years old. 1964, yeah. Lawrence, this is great. A 53. Austin A40 Somerset, right? You got it. In moss green. Moss green. I love Absolutely. it, man. Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> Beautiful car. Yeah, Thanks it. for bringing it out. Yeah. Ah, Steve, we meet again. Hello, Dennis. <laughs> Good to see you, man. How you doing? So it was like five, four, five, six years ago in, in uh, Devil's Lake? That's right. North Dakota. Yeah. And you were there with this insane Rat bug, bug, rat, rat bug. bug. I was taken by that. You know, it's tough to chop a bug, you know, it's like chopping a ball. You yep. did a great job on it. It was a wild, gnarly car. Um, then I saw you, I was up at a, another Winnipeg show, uh, the, the, the spring, and, and lo and behold, you had your latest creation, the Double Double. Double Double. And this is a 49 Ford, yes. although it's like heavily massaged. It is massaged. And I actually wanted a Mercury, but I couldn't <laughs> find one. So it's a wannabe Merc, That's right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, so the whole Again, for our American audience, the whole double double thing is a Tim Hortons. Yeah, it's a Tim Hortons tribute car. It's a it's a popular coffee shop in in Canada. Everybody knows Tim Hortons. One of their po most popular coffees is double double, two creams, two sugars. So we based it on on the Tim Hortons coffee shop. Is this what a double double is going to look like? This is what it looks one? like. I walked into the paint shop with a with a cup of double double, Tim Hortons, and I said that's the color I want, and that's what they matched it to. So you, I mean, you've done. Again, I mean, it's 49 Ford, but boy, you really have to look hard to see that. You got a, you got a DeSoto grill, yeah. but man, this, it's this it's this wild wood grain on the side. And, and I mean, this whole, you know, Merc-esque side sweep, I don't know what you call it, but but what, how did you get that? It's a wrap, vinyl wrap product, and they have, you know, many, many different types of wood grains you can choose from. But I really like the burled, uh -huh. the burled type wood. So I thought, what the heck, let's try it. Let's try and see what it looks like. Oh, I mean, if it doesn't work, you can always take it off. And the push out's really nice. And then, you know, the nice, Red, I mean, this almost looks like a Tim Hortons booth or something. Exactly. The colors, the reds from Tim Hortons match the Tim Hortons reds, the wood grain. Um, we really tried to stick to a tribute as close as we could. And you got a little Tim Horton cup there from the mirror and mm -hmm. the Tim Horton coffee pot from the keys. Yeah. Oh, it's great. And then, you know, the, the cruiser skirts and everything, you've, you've also bumped out the, the vendors here. We followed the body line down the side of the car and built the scoop, which I liked. I saw of a poster yeah. of a Mercury I had, and we wrapped it right around the car with the Continental kit around the other side. <sighs> so I got to believe you got a flathead in this baby still. Of course. Nothing better Nothing than a flathead. Nothing better than a flathead. Let's go look at that. All right. 
Wow, man. There she I is. I love it. I, I would expect nothing less. <laughs> now, what, what did you do? Is this like a bed liner or something? It's a truck bed liner. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. nice and durable. Yeah. You, know, you spill things on it. It doesn't ruin it. What's the engine out of it? This it, is its engine. Really? Uh, so it's the original engine? Yeah, oh. it was uh, stroked. It's a 276 stroker. We did some things to it. Like we've got a very rare set of Canadian built high compression heads, which they did Ford built, but they didn't really, really put a whole lot of them right. out. Didn't know they existed. Custom tri-power intake. It's great. Tim Hortons Double Double, two creams, two sugars. Two sugars. I gotta get me one of them. <laughs> All right. 49 Ford, Tim Horton. Well, you know, Blake, I, I usually kind of end up on the engine right. when I do an interview, but how do you overlook this? <laughs> well, you don't, because it was the focal point of the car when and, I built the car. And it still is. So yeah. we're looking at a 409 here, right? Right. Man, what was that out of? You know, it was out of a 64. Uh, Chevy, uh, but the intake manifold is out of a 348 because oh, okay. the 409s only came with two fours or a single four barrel. But you and wanted I to wanted go... the nostalgia look, so that actually is out of a 348 and it's out of a 58 Chevy. Mix and match. Right. So then you got the offy, uh, you know, valve covers. valve covers and nicely done in orange. And then uh, what are these? I those, mean, are they... those are actually uh, are very hard to find. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can get ones that look very similar, but to have the name Thixton on them. Yeah. Which was a, a speed company back in the early, late 50s, so these early period, 60s. So these period pieces? They are, absolutely. Wow. So did you have to have all that polished and then you repainted and everything? I did. Holy cow, man. Yeah. That's a lot of work. So you got you know headers coming out to you can open these I can up and you can uncork them and she's I can pretty raucous uh, at that yeah, point it is yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> but then you got you know a drop axle solid axle front right you know four bar and I you know love the wheels you get a big little feel out of this but right. that's the tires the exactly. wheels are 15s right yeah they're 15 inch rims and then interior wise mm -hmm. you've set it up like. Again, pretty old school, pretty classic here yeah, too. The dashboard's out of a 37 Ford, uh -huh. so we narrowed it. And then you got you got your buzzard shifter here, is that right? The, we do. That's the theme of the car. That's the theme. Yeah, <laughs> the buzzard. And she's been chopped. Uh, she's uh, chopped an inch and a half out of the roof and four and a half channel over the frame. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, yeah. I mean she's way down. It almost it actually looks like even more than. Uh, then an inch and a half, but that's it, right? right? That's it. That's all that's out of it. And the pinstriping? Pinstriping is nice. done by a local guy here in Manitoba. And these, you've, you've uh, punched those in a bit? Right. They're Frenched. So it's a 31? It's a 31. With a 409. With a 409. You know, that's a good combination. <laughs> Blake, beautiful Very car, Very good. Man. Thank you, Dennis. Man. Well, Flo, this is a pretty car. Thank you. 57 Ford Del Rio, right? That's right. Yep. Now that, that was like the top of the line wagon? Top of the line two door wagon, yep. Man, and it's it, a nice color combo that looks period, but I don't think that it's not really a, a period no. Ford combo, no, right? What, the, are, what are the uh, colors? The yellow is, uh, is actually an 83, 84 Cadillac yellow. Oh, yeah? And the white that uh, we call white is actually a, a Cadillac ivory. Oh, really? Of about the same vintage. But otherwise, I mean, you're grilling everything. That, that's just, she's stock. Yeah, everything's stock. It's been lowered, but it's all uh -huh. stock. Oh, man, it's just, it's gorgeous. And I, you know, I love the 50s custom, early 60s custom look with the wheels, kind of the chrome reverse. And the wide whites also just really set it off. I'm assuming the radials. They're are, radials, So she yeah. just, you know. Yeah, know, just exactly. Man, it's, I, and it's just, I, she's just gorgeous. Everything about it. The interior, too, it's period, but it's a resto mod. You know, that's you, right. It's you've all, got the all look new of, gauges. And, yeah. But the dash is basically the same as it would have been, but new gauges and... Uh, Tilt column, that's a nice feature. That's right. And, and yep. the dolphin gauges look great in there. You know, and that, that's almost a period pattern it's, on the upholstery. It's very close to, to the stock. It, it, they are the stock seats. Did they all have the, uh, the sliding windows versus a crank down? That's right. I don't know of any that had the crank down. They were all so, sliders. Yeah. And then, you know, back to the, 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 your clamshell, uh, open here and were they carpeted originally? Some were. This one would have been because it was a top of the line model. Some uh, some of the cheaper ranch wagon models wouldn't have had uh, the fancy chrome or the carpet. And then you got your you know late 50s uh, you know, suitcases and picnic basket. And, That's right. And, and I like the cooler there, hat box. I mean you really you got it set up. She looks really nice. And it looks so stock with such mild customization. I'd almost think you had a stock engine in there. Yeah. We, yeah, well, you would, you what would, about that, right? You would think so. <laughs> yeah, hmm. 
<laughs> now this would have originally had... This one was born with a six-cylinder standard. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It now has a 72 uh, Ford uh, 302 Mustang engine in it. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, all new guts. So, I mean, this runs like a, drives like a modern car. This will run the interstates at 75 miles an hour all day long. You got the best Del Rio here. In fact, you got the only Del Rio yeah. here. Flo, 57 Ford Del Rio. Beautiful wagon, man. Thank you very much. Very nice. Oh man, cruising Gimli Beach has been a blast. Nice little resort town, great show, Gimli, Manitoba, just outside of Winnipeg. Check this one out. <laughs>